ako. So, like, alam ko si Kim, dinedicate niya yung performances for Deo. Same with me. Like, parang for me, ang laki ng utang na loob ko is for Deo. Wouldn't be where I am today without, of course, my managers, but also, di ba, because of dreamscape in Sir Deo. So, I also dedicate this performance for him. Saka, so, ano, excited na ako mapalad ng mga tao sa Friday, pagdabas ni Morpheus. Kasi, kakaiba Friday nga. Friday ang labas mo. Yeah, Friday. 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 Actually, pwede nyo na panoorin. Um, I think kung nakasubscribe ka sa view, sa view, pwede mo na panoorin yung first five episodes. So, doon na ako sa fifth. Mm-hmm. But, um, kung di ka subscribe, if you want the free episodes, next week papalabas eh. Yung... Parang every week ata, they release three free episodes. Three. Parang ganun ata. So, if you're not subscribed, you can watch it next week. Pero kung subscribe ka, you can watch it na now. So, so kontra vida si Moore. Yeah. Actually, alam niyo, magugulat kayo sa, perform- sa, sa character na to. Kasi hindi siya yung typical na ginagawa ko. Um, ginawa ko parang, ang galing kasi nung ano yun, original actor, the one who did, who did the, the original Morpheus role. So, medyo sinundan ko yung, yung ginawa na na-impress ako sa kanya eh. So, sinundan ko siya. So, I think you're gonna see a contrabida role in a way, pero very soft. Pag, pag napanood niya to, very, ano, iba yung approach ko to it. And I think some of the fans are catching on to it already. Yung mga nakanood na ng fifth episode na. What does he do? Is he an author? Um, he's, kaya siya may AKA. Kaya siya si Cyrus AKA Morpheus. Kasi siya yung parang author na pinagkakagulo ng lahat ng tao sa show. So, parang... Yung pala magkapatid pala kami ni, ni BMC oh. na si Brandon. So, um, I, I also, parang one thing I made sure to change, kasi marami rin kami similarities ni Paolo. So, I really wanted to do something, to show them something different, para yung contrast namin doon. Jake, saan galing yung parang galit niya sa brother niya? Kasi doon sa teaser na bubugan kayo. Parang ano eh, I think yung galit, um, I had to, I think the guy that comes from, from Brandon, from the road of Pau. Mine, parang, it's more of, I think, I, I don't want to give too many spoilers out yet, but you'll see na, ano eh, um, misleading eh, parang medyo misleading din yun sa trailer, kasi you'll see na, pag, pag napanood nyo siya, hindi siya, hindi siya galit, pero mas ano siya eh, pagsisisi. Um, nandun siya sa, Nandun ako sa, nandun yung character ko, making amends with everyone in his way. With Miss Janice, with Franco, with Paolo, and then parang darating yung interest ko kay Secretary Kim. Which kaya na, ano, um, brings sincere friction. sincere yung interest ni What's this? Sincere yung interest ni Marcus kay Secretary Kim. Yes. Just to get yes. Uh, back at the brother. Um, I think, I think for this one, it's more like sincerity. Okay. Sincerity. Tsaka parang ano siya eh, parang... Um, I think when you watch it, yeah, it's different from the ones I did in the past. Because there's a lot of angst, right? Yes. Mga ginagawa ko, like a lot of baggage, a lot of emotions, right? Intense emotions. But this one, parang, I think while I was crafting this role, I told myself that rather than bring out the emotions, parang what I wanted to do was make it more you know, um, sentimental. Parang, alam mo yun, ganun approach. Kasi ganun approach ng mga Koreans, eh, diba? Like the guys, they're very like demure soft-spoken and obviously para you can't um kumbaga you have to give it to them kasi yung acting nila came across for the whole world so parang so kumbaga parang the whole world recognizes the Bad Korean so kung pinapanood ko to sabi ko I wanted to get a lot of the sensitivities in the Koreans I want to stay true to the role so yun that's that's, that's, that's the way I approach it kasi yung parang intense emotions and all these things Sabi ko parang parang gusto kong take away ng fans or gusto kong take away ng audience ko from this is more of like sentimental yung ganun ganun yung dating parang I wanted something that if if I make you cry here it's more of like parang it's not it's not in in, a, in it's not in a sense of like grabe parang alam mo pag teleserye kasi grabe hinag hinag peace device the word here, parang I approach it very calmly, like very calm. Yung dating ng mga eksena, even like yung even sa trailer na nagsuntukan kami and everything like that. My approach to all the sequences was more calm and more like ibang approach. Hindi siya hindi ko siya ina hindi ko inata kay mga eksena. Kasi parang light lang din naman siya rom com, de ba? I would say it's light, pero kasi when you watch um, the original si Park Soo Joon. He's brilliant. Like, ang galing. Kasi kahit sabihin mo ng light ng ginagawa nila, ang dami ng ginagawa, ang dami na pinapakita. Same thing with the guy who did, um, um, the actor who did Cyrus. So for me, sabi ko, I'm doing a light project, but the, the effort, the preparation, 
was probably the same or even more for this than I did for Ironheart. Mas nakatawa na sa Ironheart, physicality yun eh. Like, diba, you had to be very athletic for that show. Na, kasi we're doing stunts, we're doing fight scenes, we're doing different types of things. Here, parang sabi ko, it's the same, ano, it's the same preparation, I really prepared for it. Pero, more in an emotional sense, sabi ko nga parang, when you approach the sequences more calmly, it's not anymore na parang you're attacking them and wanting to get that scene. Right, parang this time parang ano eh, mas hinahatid mo yung audience to the sequences, parang ganyan. You wouldn't and say this is easier. I wouldn't say. <laughs> I would say it's even harder. Kasi sabi ko parang I'm so used to being given such an interesting character, di ba? Like let's say like Eros in Iron Heart, or di ba? Like my role in Katleya Killer, ganyan. So very like interesting here, parang I really had to look for it in the script. Parang I had to look for things in between the sequences. Like sabi ko nga parang pinapalit ko yung original. They're doing so many things. Hindi siya parang one take lang. Tapos, oh, yung galing. Hindi. Pero like, mas magaling kayo ni Paolo dun sa dalawang yun. Ah, I hope so. <laughs> Pero, I have to give it, but I have to give it, but I have to give it to, ano, uh, Park Soo Joon. I have to give it to Park Soo Joon. PSG yun? Sobrang yeah. galing din. Si Paolo? Hindi, <laughs> so, hindi, dun sa original. Kasi ako naman, dun ako nag- Nagagalingan ako sa mga <laughs> reaction, May reaction po. Hindi, ako naman kasi... Hindi, sa akin naman, sa kanya. Mas si Paolo sa kanya. Yeah, hindi, sa akin naman, pagdating, pagdating sa kanya, like I said, parang light man yung material, or di ba, parang sanay kami ni Paolo na binibigyan kami intense na role eh. So this isn't like our comfort zone. At least I can speak for my end, ha, na hindi ito yung, kumbaga hindi ito yung nakasanayan ko, di ba? So it takes more effort, more effort. And then I said, like, I know, must like the material. You need to put in more work because you have to find things in the script. You have to find a lot of different things to make it interesting. Yeah. So even the part two, June, that's original. That's a bit more light, eh. Must be hard. The, what are the other accomplishments they did? Because it came across to the whole world. The whole world watched the show. So at kami naman ni Pao, ni Nakim, like hindi namin parang binali wala yon. It's a big project with a big title, and it really it requires your best. And I think we were able to give out our best too. So Pero Jake, na sabi mo nga na ninerbios ka na katrabaho si Paolo. Sang eksena kani mo? Um, sa akin kasi I know how good Paolo is, de ba? So I'm pretty like he's my best friend. Um, not every day you get to work with your best friend. Nada man, hindi every day na magkatrabaho mo yung best friend mo. And like I said kanina parang hindi siya typical eh. Hindi siya yung parang teleserye tapos ang dami mong emotion dinadala na sa eksena. So you know, in a way parang naninerbes ako because I'm gonna work with my best friend. Nada man. Pero in the sense of ano? In the sense of acting. Ano naman, like I knew na he was gonna come in prepared. So parang meron din akong inanda, meron din akong inanda, di ba? So, I think ano, um, magugulat sila pag napanood nila yung mga eksena. I think... Hey, like, mas po, uh, yung step ng role. Ng role, oo. Um, so, bakit mo siya tinanggap yun ang pinakaan? Well, it took a little bit of convincing. To <laughs> be honest with everyone. Para, of course, in hindsight, diba, syempre, tas pinanood ko din. Diba? So when I watched it, Psycho, hmm, diba, sabi ko, wait that. Para maybe we can look for something, you know, bigger or ganyan. But, um, sa akin, um, I'm happy I did it. Kasi nga, parang the one who re- ultimately the one who convinced me to do it was Tita Cori and Sir Deo. So nung inupo nila ako, they told me, and then they guaranteed me that we're gonna make the role even better, we're gonna tweak it for you, kasi you're the one doing it. Ako naman, sabi ko, you know, for Sir Deo, after the pandemic, parang kung meron ako oportunidad to work with people that I do love, parang like, first I love working with Dreamscape, I love working with, you know, with APS-CDN, I'm gonna take it, kasi at the same time, parang in hindsight ka, Mabuti na lang eh, dude. Kasi if I didn't accept it, I'd feel very bad. Kasi, syempre, binabigla tayong lahat ng Sir Deo passed away, right? So, yung the whole time nung wake, kasi I went every day, um, the whole time I was there was, you know, telling Derek Chad and telling si Natita Cory, I'm so happy I did the project. 
I'm so happy I did it. Because if, if if Sir Dev passed away and then I had to tell him no, I might have to live with that for the rest of my life. So, is your relationship with Sir Dave? Um, I think that um, I think they tweaked it, so I took their word for it, and then at the same time, um, at the same time, they gave me enough to play with with the role that it made me really interested. And so, how did they tweak? Dinagdagan ba nila yung um, more layers? I uh-huh. think um, you know, man, you watch the original. Yes, original. Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna see it's very different from the original. Oh. Uh, Pagdating ng next week, you're gonna see na yung yung role, de ba? Kasi they were able to change it a little bit in a sense of ginawa nila mas pinoy, de ba? So they were able to tweak some of the roles. So in a sense, sabi ko nga, parang nung unang inoffer sa akin, dumating sa akin, sabi na panet ko na, sa ako parang hindi ako masaya masaya with the role, de ba? But um, eto nga parang nun nandun na ako from the moment I got the scripts. Kasi maganda naman sa second ano kompleto na yung script pagdating. So I got to read everything, and for me it was interesting. So I hope so. I hope for my audience they find it interesting as well. So at the same time, sana I give it justice. Kasi like I said, parang the the original actor who did the role was very very good. So I hope I can just um. Give justice to it. Again, yeah. Saka, you know, in hindsight, to be honest mas with you guys, yan. parang after you know, parang tanggap ko na eh, in the sense of like, parang I really do flourish when they offer me roles like this. Yung hindi siya yung hindi siya everything on a silver platter. You know, when they gave me Eros, it didn't look like that neither. And then I had to make the most of what I had, and then it blew up to what it was. Diba? Same thing with Katleya Killer. Parang with Katleya Killer, I told them, sabi ko. You know, Director Ruel, I told him that whatever role that is, I will do it. Because for me, I'm a big fan of the movie. So for me, kahit extra lang ako dyan, I'll do it. And then, yung natutuwa naman ako sa ABS-CBN is because parang when they do offer me something or give me a role, it's always very interesting and meaty. Parang hindi pa kompleto yung mga script nun eh. And then nagulat na lang ako towards the end. Wow, palaki ng palaki ng palaki yung role ko. So... I think it's also no. I think, parang like I said, parang I've come to embrace the fact that you know they get they put me in roles like this for a reason. Kumbaga, they put me in a project like this for a reason. And at the same time, parang they really believe that I can elevate it. And ako, I, I, honestly, when I, when a role comes to me, that's why I prepare so hard. It's because parang I want to elevate it. That's always my intention when I do when I do a part. At the same time, parang it's it also like your counterpart ko naman dun, whoever I'm acting across. Whether it be Richard or Paolo, I'm also doing a movie with Baron right now. They know na no, they know my capability, so they also give them better. Pangilan yun yun na nikim. Nikim? Hello, Kim. No, I. Oh, I. Pangapat o panglima? I don't don't quote me on that, uh, but you can Google it. Uh, Nagtaing dalawa kami ikaw lama. Uh, Ako musta ngayon to? With this, uh-huh. I think. Pili ko ano, nung umpisa, I think nung, nung umpisa, akala nila they were gonna get the typical J. Cuenca special. Nakakala nila na, okay, ito na yung kontrabida pa parating na sa set. And then they were also surprised how I approached it. Parang, it, iba talaga yung atake ko dito eh. But it's hard to really explain it till you guys see it. And then so hopefully parang sana by the end of this, mag-usap tayo ulit and we can talk about the portrayal naman. Diba? So, I hope you guys watch it, diba? Ako naman sa akin, you know, with me, Pao and Kim, I'm very, you know, um, I'm very grateful to be working with them. And I'm grateful na nasama ako dito sa hype, sa hype train nila ngayon. Because they're mainit talaga silang talaga. So, I'm just happy to entertain their audiences, their fans. Um, kami ni Pao, we were excited because uh, he, w- he was really he was really hoping I'd say yes to the project. Because at that point, si Paolo na, si Paolo na, yeah, si Paolo na. So yeah. And Jake, speaking of mainit nga sila, ikaw ba kini kilig ka rin sa? Mainit ba talaga sila? Uh, mainit ba talaga sila? Sa isa't isa. Sabi ni Jake. Sa isa't isa. For me, for me, for me, when I'm in the set, I don't have time to really look at that type of stuff. So, you know, to be honest, I, and to be honest, like I told you, Anina, this isn't exactly my genre. This isn't exactly my my my, comf- my comfort zone. Right? 
So I'm not exactly looking for those things. But I mean, honest, it's like saying uh, I do enjoy working with the both of them, and I enjoy. I'm really blessed to be working with both of them. Because the best friend, Kasi Pao, and then you know, like I said, like, like you said, Kanina, dami na namin na gawa ni Kim. So it's just happy na. I'm just happy na we, you know, we get to work again now with more growth. Because from day one, <coughs> nila nandun ako. We did Sana Maulit Muli. That was their very first project, fresh out of PBB. So I saw their growth. I saw, I saw their growth. So for me, para, I did some growing of my own. Diba? So I'm just happy now we're able to, you know, come be given a big project like this. And then at the same time, I'm happy now we get to do these sequences that kind of show our growth. Because I ko kung mas bata kami and we did this project, mas mahira. Alam mo parang medyo mas superficial yung acting. Eh ngayon parang sabi ko nga kahit light yung material, malalim yung kwento, di ba? Pero bilang nakasama mo silang matagal, ilang months ni kayo nag nag-tape for that, di ba? Yeah. Ano yung nakita mo doon sa dalawa? Sweet-sweetan ba? Mukha ba may mukha ba may something? <laughs> <laughs> From what I saw on the press conference, they were sweet. The, the, but the, 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 the most the behind the scenes, I don't do that stuff. Eh. So what is your uh, well, I just stay in my tent. I just, I just stay in my air tent. And then I just go out when they call me to go out. And then I start acting. And then I go back to my air I don't uh, To be quite honest with you, I don't ask him those questions. Not right now. So, no, Paolo is not the type. Kaya bigla niya kikwento sa akin, bubulgarin niya sa akin lahat ng point. Ikaw ba nagkakwento sa kanya ng personal? Yeah, that's why we're best friends. Kasi parang introvert siya or extrovert siya. So ako, I tell her, he knows everything about my life. So like, that's kind of like how we are. Ako naman with Pao, like I wait for him to tell me. I don't really force anything. Hey man, tell me. Ano na yung bago chika? I don't know. Do I love my life? Pero pala 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 sa kanila. For me, um, from what I see, that they're very sweet. Of course, like si Paolo, like, but the thing is, kasi, pwede bang, like, you know, like I said, hindi ako nagtatanong, but I can see that Paolo is being a really good, like, a really good leading man for her. Gentleman, she said. At, at um, yeah, yung chemistry, nakikita ko naman din talaga. Nararamdaman ko, kung makikita sa'yo na ako kayo. Yeah. Pero, Jay, Jay, nung si Kim na mismo nagsabi na nung ginagawa ni Lucy, kasagsagan yung ginagawa yan, may pinagdadaan siya. Yeah. Ay, ikaw, ano yung napansin mo sa kanya? Yung... For her, um, sobrang professional kasi kahit may pinagdadaanan siya, parang yung parang energy niya sa set eh. Never, mo siya, never ko siya nakitang down. I never really saw her like, parang, kumbaga, si Kim kasi, you know, one great thing, about her as a leading lady. Yung pagiging leading lady niya, hindi lang nagsisimula at nagtatapos sa set. Kumbaga, inaangkin niya yung responsibilidad na yun. Kumbaga, pagbida ka rin kasi, nakaakla sa'yo yung energy ng buong set. Kumbaga, kung bad trip ka dadating sa set, bad trip yung buong set. Alam mo yung ganun? Or walang gana yung bida mo umarte, walang gana lahat ng tao magtrabaho. But Kim, never did I see that. Alam mo yung lagi, siyang, lagi nang ina-uplift yung buong set. And at the same time, parang, I mean, alam ko na may pinagdadaanan siya nun, pero yung priority niya, eh, yung priority niya magtrabaho. Bubbly pa rin kahit. Super. Like, hindi, sabi ko nga, even si Paolo rin naman nagsasabi nun, eh, na yung energy niya, nag-iisa lang talaga yung game show pagdating sa ganun. Alam mo, hindi mo, you're not gonna, you're not, she's not gonna allow everyone to feel that. Diba? Pero, ganun ba yung mga actors kapag may pinagdaraanan, like, uh, parang may scene? It takes a broken heartache. Na naapektohan din ang kanilang uh, work or acting. Um, it takes a. Ikaw, 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 cameraman, the, you know, even even when I'm the contrabida, I still carry that responsibility, you know, so and at the same time, you know, to put things in perspective diba, parang, yung, yung kinaganda kasi ng mga lock-in, nung pandemic na, nakasama mo talaga yung staff, yung crew so, alam mo kung gano'n ka-importante sa ngayon trabaho, and dahil sa lock-in, parang ramdam mo yung ramdam mo nakasama ka talaga sa proyekto so, for me, mas lalo pa, alam mo yun, yung parang kung meron akong pinagdadaanan, I can't let these people down Diba? And I feel like Kim and Paolo are the same way. Ano, Jake? Mari ba naman tayo? Hindi lang sa 
personal kasi uh, you've been with me pala na actors na mga ano na hindi ko makalimutan yung folks mo nung for example to the Richard Gutierrez na parang sure. you've been a way you praise him uh, for being a family man yeah. of course we all know what happened and then, sadly, uh, super, sadly yeah. tapos ang dami mo na na-encounter din mga na kasama uh, na yung mga relationship hindi rin na board how it affects you? Kaya parang sa personal mo rin, meron kang... Me, I, I work my best when I'm happy. For sure. Like my, my best work always comes out when I'm, when I'm happy. When I'm carrying something, when I'm going through a problem, I really have to compartmentalize it. Because if I start thinking about it too much, it drifts off it. But um, like, kasi ako ngayon, parang, like, my top priority is to stay in character. Diba? Like, my top priority is to really like come up with something you've never seen before. Diba? That's hence that's why I push myself to like, create something like arrows, like to push those boundaries. So either it's either we, we fly high or we crash hard, but it's something you've never seen before. So that's my priority. So but um, if I if I if I think about my problems too much, if I think about like my issues too much, then it's gonna be too much of Jake. And you've seen that already. Very Out of my twenty three years now Kumbaga, what I'm trying to do para after no after the pandemic was to show you something you guys have you know, this series of projects that I've done, diba? even kahit ilang dan beses na lang nakita magkontrabida, it's still very different, right? So, that's my priority, is to come up with something brand new, diba? Be rinse and repeat. May tanong ko ka about Hindi child. Mo, yung more sa personal, sa love life, sa relasyon, uh, hindi naman nagkakaroon ng parang, ay, uh, in a way, trauma na I'm not very happy right now. But uh, so like for me, but uh, you know, I can't. I, I don't know. I, I don't doubt God's plans for me. I don't doubt the process anymore. In fact, but, uh, that's what I live for is the process. So nandun ako sa parang nandun ako sa you know, I'm in, I'm in that stage in my career where it's almost like people I like to jump into these projects and enjoy the process. And then I, I take pride in doing whatever role. I can do theater, I can do TV, I can do TV, I can be the bad guy, I can be the good guy. I can do everything all together even. That's how much I missed working because of the pandemic. Uh, I like to do three projects at the same time or four projects at the same time and stretch myself. And part of the whole thing is for everyone to see and I did it all at the same time. And they're like, para ni ginawa yun? That's, that's kind of like my route right now. Para tell me Tito Eddie. I really do idolize. Na parang, you know, magugulat ka na lang at ito, Eddie, one year, dami ng pelikula, different types of characters, different types of role. Some projects do well, some don't. You know, sometimes he does an indie movie, sometimes he has a mainstream movie. So parang I'm at that point in my career where sinistretch ko sarili ko bilang artista na I can, you know, maybe that's why I have a lot of work kasi nga I'm easily casted for things. It's hindi rin ako maate. For me, parang, like I said, parang I pride myself in, you know, parang, they give me a project like this, and then it's not exactly, diba, on paper, parang on paper, it's not exactly, diba, the title role to the niya sinabi. But parang ano eh, parang, I pride myself in this because I'm able to elevate it. And I, I do believe if I work hard, if I prepare for it, if, you know, if things come together where the director likes what I'm giving, and then it usually flies, parang it usually works out. How do you find balance? What's a day like for you, given? Me. How do you oh. find time for love, for other me. things? I've come to realize that I, I, I just stay very truthful to my process. So like for me, every single day I read my scripts. Um, every single day, if, if, I, if I'm not in a project or if I'm not doing a project, I'm constantly reading scripts. Because I know one day I'm going to go to the And if I do read it, if I try to perform it, if I experience it one time, when they offer me something like this, it's gonna be better. It's gonna be more refined. You know, role, diba? Because like, parang you know, in, in, in an actor's career, you start out raw, like emotions, diba? Parang raw emotions, parang di mahating. And then you you go through your career, and then you're, you're constantly looking for ways to refine it, constantly looking for ways to be better and grow, diba? So for me, parang yeah, one thing na hindi ko tinatalikuran yung proseso ko. And at the same time, I have theater and school to thank for that. Like, I, I can, di ba parang, I, I only see things this way because of theater and school. And then at the same time, people in the set, um, they appreciate it. Kasi nga parang, especially the writers, kasi I'm really attached to the script for the whole of the thing. Like I said, like secretary came, the script of this thing. 
up until my last day, I was still doing repetitions and still reading the script. So, na na pa ko pare. Alam mo yung unconsciously looking for things for me. Yeah. Like, alam mo honestly now. <laughs> I think I'm better now. Para honestly, para I think I'm better at it now, and only because it's a bit more private. Like, kami naman we're not keeping it secret. But parang now it's a lot easier when it's private. Parang, you know, there's no pressure posting things, there's no pressure, a lot of things. But parang, and plus, it feels more personal because, you know, the things I share with Chi, right? I just share it with her. I don't share it to the whole world anymore. Something that you've learned from that eventually. Yeah, so certainly I have, you know, like, I'll take the opportunity to thank all my relationships in the past because it's put me in this position that I'm just logical and rational. But at the same time, parang less dramatic about things. Because I don't drink anymore. Oh. Three oh. years. Oh wow. Three years. Three years. Bucket. Me? Um, you know, you get shot out by the cops. <laughs> you get shot out oh by God. the cops. So after yeah, they're that, calling you, they're calling you things, oh and I have to know the story. You change things. Uh, at the same time, for me, because I like, you know, I'm 36, so like for me. I, I also pride myself in being a man. So like you can't get caught in those type problems anymore. I mean, hindi mo naman may iwasan eh. Like a night like that, yung biglaan na nakit na ka sa ganun, hindi mo may iwasan. Some turning point you want? For me? Uh-huh. Yeah. Three certainly. years ago ba yun? You know, when you almost die, you're gonna yeah. start to like, <laughs> you're gonna start to look at life differently. Three years ago ba yun, Jay? Huh? Three years ago yun. No, but I've quit alcohol for three years. Yeah. So I think that was two years ago. But uh, I've, been, I've been out of alcohol for three years. Mm-hmm. It's the hardest thing I ever had to do. Like, to be honest with you, to, to stop drinking, to say no, especially like to your bosses or like people mm-hmm. in the industry, because they, they knew me a certain way. That um, it was hard. It was definitely one of the hardest things I ever had to do, but it was the best decision to make. No, I, it doesn't start. It, for me, it's nah, like okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> yeah. um, for me, for me, um, to advice about it, I, I would say uh, you have to be very decided and you have to cut ties. Mm. You have to cut, you know, like as difficult as it is, but you have to cut people in your life, especially like people that, you know, you have a bond with drinking with or you know, I, I cut a lot of people out. <laughs> no, I have to, you know, to, to make to make solid changes, to make real changes, to make real changes and solid changes, and like, you know, to work a schedule like I do mine. You don't really have a lot of time for other things aside from work and. If I do have time, of course I want to spend it with my loved ones, family and my loved ones. Yeah, we respect your privacy, you know? but can you share with us what a steady relationship feels like? Wow, really good. Like, I mean, I'll, be, I'll be very honest. I mean, I'm not putting any labels on ours yet, yeah. of course, like pattern, but I would say in a pattern, this is the happiest I've been in a very long time. And like, I want to keep it that way. And like I said, pattern for me, because before, pattern, you know, when. For me, parang siguro sanay ako na sanay ako na ako yung inaalagaan in a lot of those relationships. But for the first time in my life, the parang I don't, I don't really need someone to take care of me. Let me be the one to take care of you. Parang kaya. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, ito nga alaga kay Chi ngayon. Ah, for me, parang uh, for me, yeah, I would I would say I'm doing my best to do it. Of course, like I'm, I'm doing my best to do it, but at the same time, parang I'm just doing my best to be a man at this point. Parang you know, I'm trying. Like I said, parang for me, I don't shy away with my age and responsibilities. I take full accountability for my life and my mistakes. And at the same time, parang in a way, um, whatever me and Chi have. But um, this is the best. This is the most rational, most logical thing. So if I make problem or like there's any sort of drama, I know I can overcome it. Or alam ko maayos namin. And at the same time, parang nandun ako sa parang nandun ako sa position na yeah, like okay na ako na alam mo I'm happy being a man and taking care of the people that I love. Parang I really pride myself in that. Jake, advice for you ni Pao yung maging keep it private. Um, not really. I think I came. I, I think I came to that decision on my own. Um, it's something. Uh, it's something. Uh, um, I, I came up with on my own, and at the same time, para 
yeah, it's just learning from the mistakes that you've done in the past. And but I'll always be thankful to all my relationships in the past because that relationship then taught me something and it's put me in the position I am today. Is marriage something you believe in or see yourself? Yeah, but but I'm not rushing to it. And at the same time, parang I have a number in my head, but also that I want to keep private. Yeah. Forty, di ba? Di ba forty? Um, that I'll, for me, parang ang hirap when you put a when you put a distinct number to it, may pressure to it. So like for me, parang I just want to enjoy and at the same time, I want to take care of the people that I love. And when the time is right, the time is right. Anong bakit sobrang happy kay Chi? Ano mga ginagawa niya to make you happy? Um, she's amazing. Like this is put it that way. Like this is put it like for me, parang not to elaborate too much, but um, she's a very amazing person. Sobrang bait. And like what I what I said before, what I love. Uh, I mean. One thing that I really, <laughs> one thing I really, really like about her, or like you know, really admire about her, is her journey. So So it's not something that she says to me, but she definitely teaches me patience. And patience is the hardest lesson to learn in this life, diba? So she's very patient. So parang ang yari parang natututunan ko rin din sa kanya by by her example. Ano, I can guarantee you 110 percent. Yeah, I can guarantee you 110 percent. Wala pa ako anak. Man, sa panahon ngayon na may social media, I think if you know if there if there's someone out there who has her, you can always DM that person and say, "Oh, your responsibility that or maargo mo to." And if I did have a son, I'd like for the woman to come out and say, "Because if I had the son, hindi ko pa babayaran out there without any of my support or help." Nah, like yung maganda naman sa you know what's nice about life now, what's nice about being in this um, being in this position or itong estado ng ito, nakakatulong ka na sa kapwa mo. So if I ever had a responsibility like that, I will never turn my back on that person. I mean, I will have that kid as my own and take care of that. I'm just for kagulo yun. Jake, uh, Jake, uh, Jake, if there's a kid out there, it's go and say it. So it's not a big deal. That's like in my age, like, diba, like you, you, I, I wouldn't mind the surprise like that. Like, it's not something I'd shy away from. Um, well, we're in season four now of Jack and Jin. Diba? We're in season four of Jack and Jin, but I'm also doing a movie with Baron Geisler. Right now, so um, same same directors. Now it's the same directors of Ironheart, same directors of Ironheart, and then it's for Netflix. So oh, um, our main mga director ko ng Ironheart. Um, si Nesta Pimentel and the Singaporean naman directors directors. So for me, like I love them. Like ako talaga, like I think they're the best action directors in the country. So. They offer me something, and then at the same time, pa, me and Baron, we're also producing a movie. Aside from that, Baron, we're going to produce a film together. So, so you know, this year might see me and Baron in two movies. But well, hopefully, but if. Baron. Yeah. I think he's Baron. He's a co-producer. Um. Well, ano kami? Tatlo tatlo kami producing yun. Yeah. And then, kami ni Baron and then our director, the Tagi Cebu. Pero yun taon Cebu based in director namin. But for now, we're doing this action movie for Netflix. What's the title? Um, this one's called Santo Miro. The Samini, Samini Battle. Santo Miro, you'll find out when you watch the movie kung bakit ganun yung title. But um, yeah, it's a big action movie. It's a big action movie and then what's interesting about it is hindi mo alam kung sino yung masama sa amin dalawa. <laughs> so Jake, what happened to your dream of, ano, or your plan of uh, studying abroad, staying there uh, muna, parang gano'n sa amin? Studying abroad, um, Coming to eh. like, there's a lot of projects right now. I think if, if I if I study anything, I'll probably study locally for now. And then at the same time, to pa rin naman pag-aaral ko as a director and a writer. So that's top priority. Pero kasi I'm not rush on that because wala nang need to do Right now, para I feel like I'd, I'd like to strike while the iron is hot. Kasi ang ganda ng mga projects na dumadating sa akin at the moment. So for me, it would be foolish of me not to prioritize that right now. Ano yung isa ko with Baron, Jay? 
Um, actually, we're doing an action film, the right now, and so then. Miro, ano pa isa? Uh, the other one, we're doing a B in the middle. Ah, oh, oh, kayo ni Baron. Yeah, kayo ni Baron. So that's why I said. That's why I said. Kaya kaya kasi kanina na parang it's to do all these things all together, and then bam, that's what we did. Um, de, yung BN yung pinoproduce namin. Medyo mas ma- mas madi produce yung Santo Miro kasi action film po siya. O oh, isang nag-action kayo at isang nag ano kayo nag Love story, nag- story. Nag- kayo. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Bakit? Ano, Jane, kasi nga medyo na na surprise kami na you're you know, collaborating with Baro oh. now no. Co-producing. So, co-producing pa. And then for isa prior to that na mention mo nga na nag-stop ka na for drinking. So, uh, in a way ba, uh, paano yun? Kasi si Baro naman, very very open naman siya na uh, into that. Ay, may medyo, may hihirapan siya somehow. Paano, paano uh, kapapasok sa eksena doon? Um, well, of course, like, meron ako non-negotiables. Diba? Of course, like, for me, no album set. Diba? Like, that stuff. But, I don't have to tell Baron that right now. Kasi si Baron ngayon, if you, if you watch the social media, this is the movie that he's training for. Kaya siya na sa gym every day. Kaya niya rin, he's getting ready for this film. And for me, parang, at this point, with all the training he did, and all the lifting he did, and dami rin tra- he put in so much work already. So, ako, I have trust in him. Uh, we're gonna get these two movies over the line, Pero and it's gonna be a big year for Baron. Hindi niya we talk about it all the time. We talk about it all the time. Saka meron kaming ano eh, actually meron kaming stars and stars, I think, on the 26th, parang may actors and actors kami ni Baron. So, if you guys wanna hear more about that, we're gonna do a podcast. About that, about that particular subject. I think about being in the industry for so long and then obviously that. But um, sabi ko rin naman parang um, our intention for that interview is to inspire people. So you can talk about that, you can talk about acting and stuff like that. That's what we're gonna do. But <laughs> what made you, ano ba, parang wanna work more with Barry? Oh, with Barry? Okay. Parang um, biglang For me, nalawa. at this point in my career, I wanna collaborate with everyone. That's why you see me working with Richard, you see me working with Arjo, you see me working with Paolo, you see me working with Barry. Because I've come to realize that if you work with the best, the best bring out the best in you. So at the same time, also for, di ba, parang, when are we gonna do these collaborations? When we're 50? Like, now is the time. Now I tell like everyone that I'm working with that now is the time to do these collaborations while the limelight's on us, while people still care about us, while people still love us. So, sabi ko, it's time to show these things now. Kasi, what the last thing you wanna do is start assembling a group of actors and then we're like 55. I mean, you can do it. Of course, like, do it by all means. Pero parang, I feel like parang now is the time. Pero so, like, saan galing yung idea na magsama kayo? Saan ba kayo nagkasama um, lately? I think, me and Baron, mm-hmm. like, nag-Iron Heart din siya sandali. Ah, so, doon nag- niya napag-usapan. Nag-usap kami sandali sa Iron Heart. Pero yung casting nung Santo Miro, director na na, si Direk Lester na yun. Okay. That was Direk Lester, Netflix. Sino yung director ng BL? Ng BL? Um, he's from Cebu. His name is Don Frasco. So, he had something to do with Bigfoot. Oh. Also in Cebu, so he's our co-producer and our director, Stent Don Cas. Oh, so, gano kayo ka, ka, ka passionate o oh, oh, ka daring din sa... We'll do this action movie first and start thinking about those things after. Because we gotta mm. kill each other first here, <laughs> then start loving each other. Then it's... <laughs> what kind of idea is the BL? It was um, me and Baron. Because we said that our intention naman ni Baron is to show versatility. Our intention is to like, you know, we let's show them how it's done. There are nothing getting in our way. And at the same time, for me, Baron, like, sabi namin parang, that if done right, diba, if done right, this cements us. Diba? Kasi the back-to-back projects na gagawin natin, it's huge. Diba? So parang sabi namin ni Baron na, if done right, this cements us in a certain way. So, May title na ba yan? Change or 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 change
Yeah, no, for sure. I feel it's here. Because you're going to be busy with those two movies, so wala kang ABS network na after. Well, they they already pitched a few things for now. I can't talk about it because it's still quite confidential. But um, second for now, like for for now, if they want to see me in TV, they can watch me in second, and then in Japanese. What about the other thing? Theater, that's that's what I'm trying to look for time for. But certainly this year I'm gonna do one. If if I don't do one, I'll do a scene night again in America. But I I, I will do th- uh, no matter what babalik at babalik sa teatro because that's where I get the most growth. That's where I get the most learning, and then it makes me a better actor every time I do theater. Taka for me like I'm a workaholic. So like believe me, after this movie, I'm magulat kana next week may play na ako ginagawa. So like for me, I'm a, I'm a workaholic. That's why like I'll I'll always find my way back to the theater. But what's with you? Like you find really for me, um, for me, I, ano kasi parang I think with theater parang it's the instant gratification that you get, de ba? Parang and it's also the honesty. Because sometimes like you know when you're very established in this industry. Or like when you're a very established actor already, they have a hard time telling you you suck, or they have a hard time telling you you're doing bad. They just let you do things. With theater, yung currency mo yung galing mo. So if you're doing badly, de ba parang you know like I mean I guess we can come to an agreement. De ba parang how can you argue with success sometimes? If it's very successful, even if the acting is bad, how do you call it bad acting? De ba? Right? Can we agree with that? De ba? But like with theater, there's no such thing as that. So like there, it's e- your currency, mo, your halaga, mo. Do. It's either you're good or you're bad. And if you're bad, they probably won't get you. Yeah. Chief, last question, Kevin. But ilang tayo dun sa quitting album? Was there a uh, mahirap ba siya when you nung start? Tapos oh. nagabaklash ka ba? Paano yung struggles? Um, it's more difficult when you're doing it alone. Because okay. syempre, like when you're when you make a decision like that and you're in a relationship, oh, it's really easy for that I do it because of the relationship. So parang it tested me again nung, nung most recent breakup, it tested me, but I flew straight. I stayed on the path. And here we are now, three years, no alcohol. You can agree, love No, I brought to say and I did it on my own. With my mom. My mom helped me, but like, mm-hmm. but I did it all on my own. Ano talaga naging factor para magquit ka? Again, like I said, you know, you have a near death experience, pinagbabalik ka ng mga police. Pero it happened, di ba? Nauna ka na magquit before na nangyari, nangyari yun. Yeah. Um, I did it because the first time I did it, meron naman kasi talaga akong parang ever since meron akong parang marker. Sabi ko parang at this age, I'm gonna stop drinking. Parang I just did it earlier. Mas inagahan ko lang. But then I pulled the trigger even yung pero meron ka pang once in a while, casual, or special event. Oh, yeah. But like, no alcohol whatsoever, as in hard stop. You know, that that really was after that. Stuff. After that, I was like, I'm never gonna be seen holding an alcoholic beverage again. Okay. Uh, okay. Unless I'm acting. Unless I'm acting. Unless I'm acting. Unless I'm acting. Unless I'm I work out. I work out. At first, like, um, of course, like she helps me with that. Then also like, the company, but also, parang there's more to life than just drinking. You know, to be honest, para for me, para like I said, para because I stopped drinking, I can accept more work. So like, dami ko ginagawa ngayon. And plus, like for for anything, para what I hold on to is my love for the craft. So that's enough intoxication I need for for anything acting. Um, I mean, it doesn't make sense for me to do it now. Of course, I don't drink anymore. Oh. Right? Plus, I ride my motorcycle a lot, so like, you know, dry, drinking and riding motorcycles don't go together. So, for me, well, I'm happy because, uh, like, you know, because of, like, motorcycles and damage and brand still who want to do motorcycles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they they made some contact. Parang we gotta think. They they made contact. Pero kasi they won't. Parang kung baga parang I'm still under contract with ABS, so I have to prioritize my work in ABS. So kung meron silang offer for me, then there's no there's no really point to entertain anything else. Kung meron kung ginagawa sa ABS. So far, this past two years have been very busy. So there's no reason to entertain things. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
But, you know, maybe even the end of the contract. Okay, comment lang kasi nabanggit ni Kai din na natin good terms pa raw kayo. Ano masasabi? Ah, uh, we don't talk. So, but like I wish her well. So, tsaka, I'm not think, I've never said anything bad about, about that. Tsaka, like I said, parang at this point, parang at this point in my life, I'm thankful for the breakup because I learned a lot of things. And I'm going to do it in And um, when it was good, I was grateful for it. When it was bad now, at this point, I'm still grateful for it. So, I'm in a good place right now. Tsaka, two years na yun, let's close the book on that already. So, she's happy. I'm very happy. I think she's also doing a movie with Paolo, so good luck. And yeah, let's close the book on that one. Yeah. Again, hindi kayo in bad terms. Wala kayong terms. Ah, there's no reason to talk. What are we gonna What are we gonna talk about? But parang in the, the same time, parang yeah, I think I said it all in that post. Diba? So, but if I do see her, no problem. Say hi to her. Pero di pa di pa nagpokus yung mendes namin. Kita mo siya. Kaya may broker siya. Hey, Asha. Yeah, she is. She is. Like I said before, na, we dated na before, and then so this is the second time we're out. So, so that's one person. That's one person. Uh, that's one person. Uh, I, I siguro I kept tabs on, yung parang I always mm. wished her well, and then at the same time para when the opportunity was there, uh, like, you jumped. Yeah, I jumped on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least in the show. I think she was in Showtime then. Would you say she was your top guest? I think I already said it. Yeah, I think I already said it. We got the chance to, to interview her after mga sabihin niya na thought that. Yeah. It's mga kinikilig siya. Pero at the same time, during that time, parang hindi na naiintindihan what happened. Were you able to explain to her bakit hindi yeah. ka na um, I think timing, you know, back, back then was more of a timing thing. At the same time, so many things were happening in my life. We talked about it, so we were able mm-hmm. to unpack it, but we'll just keep that to ourselves. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, to be least, honest, least, so least, many things were going on in my life that time. And damning, that was, I think I was 29, so I was, you know, mm-hmm. living, the re- I was living out the last few months of my 20s, you know what I mean? That's wild. Then. So now, but, um, at this point in my life, um, I'm more, more, I'm well more balanced, and my head's obviously underneath, um, underneath my, sh- I mean, top of my shoulder. So, but no, I think, I think um, the timing was perfect. I think at that time, kung, kung if something happened that time, I wouldn't be able to take care of her the way that I can do now. Yeah. For me, shapa rin, shapa rin. The one that got away, yun eh. The one that got. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> no, for me, no. <laughs> kung meron ko na mas kaya sa buhay, siguro isa lang yun. Ayun, ayun. I mean, <laughs> dami pa na nyo. Wala dami mo to, galiba-liba. Wala na. Wala na. I'm good. Uh, uh, I, I got to go back and go back for it. Yeah. Pero <laughs> 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 you're curious ako, eh, parang, the one that owned us, what was the same girl na talaga you kept tabs for the years? For me, I think she, she's, ano eh, Aside from her being very beautiful, you know, mm-hmm. her personality, her family, um, I think, and also her belief, because and like I said, her journey is just as beautiful as she is for me. Like for me, parang, I mean, when you look at her, when you see her, it's a really beautiful woman. You know? But when you get to talk to her, it's something even better. So for me, parang, you know. Actually, she knows this. That for me, I do prefer it pag hindi siya ayos. Like, pag hindi siya ayos. Because I think it best explains her inner beauty. But at least for me. Yeah. And for me, her inner beauty is even more beautiful than she, she is in person. Mm-hmm. That's for me. Yeah, that's for me. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? My mom? Yeah, they, 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 Kahit sila. <laughs> Kahit sila. Okay, konti pa. Pwede, yeah. um, pwede go back to that part na paano mo naramdaman na pwede na parang paano na break yung ice na parang gusto ko na uli siyang I know eh. I, you know, without saying too much, but uh, I think the universe took care of that for the both of us. Mm-hmm. Nakita kami. Nakita kami sa parang um, 
ball. Christmas ball ng Star Magic and mm-hmm. like everything happened from there. Saka yung timing. Kasi both single, ganyan. So parang, I think the universe got like figured that out. Parang ang dali nga. Parang it became like very easy. So, ganun. Ganun. <laughs> Ready na siya, ready ka na ulit. Ah, ganun. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs>